Testing one, two, three. This is Wesley, billion dollar virgin here. And I know it's late here, but if you're <laughs> if you're chasing your dreams or attracting your dreams, you should be awake right now working on it. Ariella, good morning. Good morning. See, that's why I, I love people that don't sleep especially people who are working towards something that is huge. I want to talk about tonight how to get a bunch of Instagram followers and how to get verified fast, okay? And as a bonus, I'm going to speak about, uh, I'm going to do a millionaire midnight rant where you can ask me questions here. I know a lot of people are not going to be up at this hour, unfortunately. Um... And I think that's unfortunate, you know, because if you really want to accomplish a goal or a dream, sleep can wait. That's just my belief. And I am a multimillionaire and I live by that philosophy and it's worked for me. And I've really figured out that I don't need as much sleep as most poor people. I don't need as much sleep as many just average people are, you know, people that just want to live life at a very mediocre type of level and that's okay but um if you're that type of person that wants to be average you probably don't want to um listen to the content here okay so i'll let you guys get in here andreas how are you margaret it's a cool amani taylor what's up danny what's up ethan um neil powell caleb ethan and jeff baxter um and let me say this, if you're going to listen to me, if you're going to pay attention to me, um, please take notes. Like, don't, it'll be very silly to listen to me about what I'm about to show you and not take any notes, okay? One thing I want to give you is don't trust your brain. Don't trust that your brain is going to remember something, okay? You're here consciously, but... Um, you need to write this stuff down, okay? It's a lot of information that I want to give to you about building an Instagram account, building followers, and getting verified. I'm going to tell you why that's important, and I want to show you how we monetize these followers as well to make a bunch of money. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin. I've created, I'm sorry, Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin. I've created... Um, <laughs> Um, a decade of companies, like 10 plus companies, um, more than half of them do a million dollars a year without my involvement, which is powerful, right? Which means is I don't have to really be involved with a lot of the companies that I've created online um, because of systems I've created and I want to share them with you guys. And right now, my primary focus in the last couple of months have been building my Instagram account. And as you can see, I'm at 937,000 followers. Not only that, but I'm verified, which allows me um, to monetize. I use that to monetize um, on different cell pages that I will show you online, okay? So let me get started here. Before I get started, um, I would like to ask everybody because I'm going to give this information away from free. A lot of people want to know how to get verified. Verified means this. It's basically like taking a white shirt, okay? a white t-shirt and putting a check on it or putting the Gucci symbol on it or Louis Vuitton. Okay. So what it's doing. They just basically Instagram years ago created what is called the verified check because a lot of celebrities, people were using and creating dummy accounts, trying to pose as other celebrities and trying to influence them based off something that wasn't true. So, Basically, Instagram created what is called ver verification, which is the blue check. So that tells a person uh, not only is this the real person, but this person is a bit significant. He's important. And let me make this clear. You don't need a blue check to be important, okay? Everybody that's listening to you, are, you're an important person, okay? But in the world of social media, if you have this blue check, um, it gives you a lot of clout. It gives you a lot of prestige. Um, and me, to be honest with you, I really use it to monetize. I really don't give a damn about 
um, <laughs> you know, I got a blue check and now I'm important or I'm significant. That really doesn't, I don't really care about that. I really care about the millions of dollars that I make from it. That's it. But I know some people, they want it because they just want to be important because people do have a need of significance, which is people just want to be important. They want to be famous. They want to be celebrities. If you want to be a celebrity, you want to be famous, great. If you want to monetize it, great. But what I'm going to do in this video, my goal is to help you show you how to build your account very fast to get a bunch of followers and how to get verified, okay, how to get the blue check. So, you know, you'll be more important, right? <laughs> All right. So let me get started here. Um, Gimme, how are you? Clean. So please get a sheet of paper and pen to puzzle out. Um, this video will be deleted in 24 hours uh, because I'm just going to delete it. I mean, you know, I just want the people to select few people that are up at 1 o'clock in the morning to get this information. Everybody else that's sleep. Um, I'm not going to say they're just broke average people, but, um, you know, they sleep. Fine. I don't know. Uh, me, <laughs> I, I'm not sleep. I don't sleep as much. I don't really need it. Um I meditate quite often, so the body needs rest, in my opinion, doesn't need sleep. I can sleep when I die. So right now, it's all about transforming people's lives, helping people like you become successfully financial. If I help enough people get what they want, then I will get everything that I want. This has been my philosophy for the next, for the last six years, which is the reason why my company has grown 100 plus in the last two years, and I'm grateful about that, but it's all about you, helping you um duplicate my results here kayla how are you oh my god this is some spam stuff hold on okay none of that none of that porn stuff guys please don't don't put any porn crap what's up boris how are you matthew taylor okay i'm gonna have to block you young lady if you keep posting this porn during my session here Unified Meditation, how are you? Philip, Eric, how are you? All I actually ask to do is two things for me. Tag one person, like this, and share it, okay? And I will tell you some of the tips and tricks that I've used over the years to do it. I'm sorry, there's three things. Like this video, okay? Just hit the like button. It's right there. Give me a heart. If you have any love for Wesley, Billion Dollar Virgin, because I love you. And share this, okay, on your timeline. I appreciate that. And just tag one person. Okay, that's all I want you to do. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. I'm not gonna charge you I'm not gonna charge you any money for it. Okay. And all you have to do is just like, share, and tag one person. What's up, Vish? How are you? Then after at the end of this, I will answer questions, which will be my millionaire midnight rant, which I'm going to basically be honest with you as a multimillionaire, which I am. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you about any problems that you're having in business and life to help you get there. Uh, you can ask me any question that you want. I will be honest and transparent, despite if I get judged or criticized. That's okay. I'm comfortable with myself, so it's easy for me to be very transparent here. <laughs> okay? All right. I'm waiting. Tag one person, everybody, okay? If you don't tag one person, I'm going to have to delete you from the group. I will, unfortunately, I will remove you. I need everybody to tag one person to like and share it, okay? Just like it, share it, and tag. And I'm watching. John Trey, thank you. Boris, thank you. Caleb, thank you. I'm going to give you guys 60 more seconds, then we're going to get started. Everybody that didn't do it, I will be deleting you from this video because I asked you to make a contribution. Because I'm going to add value to you. You're going to get a lot of value in this video. So, um, and if you have a million followers already, then you don't need to uh, listen, I guess. <laughs> but if you're trying to build that Instagram account, social media, be honest with you, 900,000 followers is equivalent to about $100,000 per year. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to monetize this, okay? Show you some tricks of the trade, okay? So, thank you. Um, Thank you, Boris. Thank you, Sky Dunn. Thank you, John Trey. I need everybody, Cody, Ryan, I need everybody to tag, share, and like this. Tag one person, share it, and like it, okay? 
Thank you, Tony. T thank you, Taylor Mate Speaks. And you guys can ask me any question about manifestation, mind stuff, mind hacks, whatever you need to be successful, I will help you, okay? And I'm not charging you $10,000 per hour like I, I charge a lot of my big clients. I rarely do um, mentorship one-on-one because I just don't have the time, to be honest with you. So, but I want to do this as a contribution to you, uh, to be honest with you, because I love you. You know, I love you because you're, you, you're not giving up. And it's one o'clock in the morning here. And depending on where you are around the world, you know, you're still here. So I appreciate that. How do you tag? Just type their name. in. Thank you, James, Muhammad, Cody, Muhammad. Yeah, just like and share. Make sure everybody hit the share button. If you hit the share button, comment the word, let's go. And I want to get started here. Okay. Okay. All righty. How's everybody doing tonight? Are you blessed? Woo! All oh, praises to the most high. Oh, all right. Um, Sarita Houston, how are you? All right, guys. So what you're looking at right here, ladies and gentlemen, um, make sure you take notes. Write this stuff down. This is my Instagram account here. Okay. And um, as you can see, I have 937,000 followers. And I'm also verified, which means that um, according to social media, I'm a very important person, I guess, whatever, right? I'm a celebrity, quote, quote. Um, and I want you to not only get this, but I want you to learn how to utilize this because if you do this effectively, you don't need a job. You don't need to do anything. Um, I, I've been spending some time on my social media in the last three months. And my Instagram following has grown because I've did very strategic things to do that. Okay, first thing is this. Write this down, please. And you can put this in a comment. And guys, if you want to, ladies and gentlemen, you can put this information in the comment section below um, so you can learn. Okay, write it down. Comment the words that I'm using so you can learn at the same time. First thing is this. When you build your Instagram account, it's important to communicate one message. Okay. It's important to communicate one message to the world. And let me tell you why, because understand this Facebook, excuse me, Facebook are the people who are going to verify your account and they're going to review your account which means is they want to know what type of person you are what type of value are you're giving what type of message are you communicating to the world a lot of instagram accounts that i've seen people are all over the place and they're not communicating one message the message that i communicate obviously is prosperity money abundance right living the dream living the lifestyle that most people don't live you see Kylie Jenner here and the great thing about being verified let me give you guys as a plus you know when you get verified people like you know Khloe Kardashian here you can reach out to these people like um, I mean Drake Champagne Poppy um, a lot of people that normally would never answer your messages in the DMs these people will reach out to you okay <laughs> only because you have the blue check you know I know that sounds unfair but that's just how life is it's just all about are you an important person and are you a person that I want to spend time on. So the blue check really will help you because say if you're trying to reach out to a certain person um, because, you know, you're trying to do a business deal, you're trying to do a, a, a business venture with them, whatever. It's, it's good to have it, okay, because these people that normally would never speak to you, um, they will, okay? That makes sense? And let me know if I'm moving too fast, okay? Let me know if I'm moving too fast. Saying sure, what's going on? If you guys just got here, make sure if you just got here to get this information, you must like and share this entire uh, this video here. Just like, share, and tag one person. If you do not like and share and tag, I will be forced to remove you from this um, train here, okay? I just want you to make a contribution, okay? Thank you so much. All right, so here we go. Um, so.
So that's number one, you know, make sure that you communicate one message Two is make sure that you are consistent. Okay. You have to be consistent. You really do uh, need to be consistent with your posts, especially in the beginning, because um, what Facebook and Instagram looks at before they verify you understand something what verification back in the day was easier now it's not as easy as it was two to five years ago um, verification is just not easy okay I'm just being honest it's not easy it's just things you have to do so you have to be very consistent with your posts because when you are getting new followers your followers want to see new information especially if they like you okay because you have to think about something on social media you have a tons of people okay every day online looking at people's stories looking at people's pictures looking at pretty girls pretty guys funny videos looking at fights looking at what celebrities do so it's a lot of people online that's taking people's attention so it's all about are you that person that's on that person's mind this is why I post quite a bit if you notice I'm always going live on Instagram I'm always going live on snapchat I'm going live on Facebook because I want to stay in the minds of my followers, aka my superstars. I want them to know that I exist. I'm here to help you, and I'm here to consistently help you. Make sense? I don't want to be the guy that one day I'm here, then a month you don't see me. Well, then they will forget about you. They're going to follow somebody else. Okay? I want people to follow me if they want to be rich, if they want to be successful. Okay? If they want to be internally fulfilled in life. This is why people follow me. The question for you is why would a person follow you? What are you providing them? And that goes to number three. You have to give value, okay? What value are you providing to the followers or to the people that's looking at your information online, okay? If that makes sense so far, just let me know. Hit the like button. If you haven't shared or liked or tagged somebody, please do that at this time. Is that making sense? It's fairly simple. It does take some time to do, but if you're motivated and you're excited about what you do, like I'm excited about my life. If you look at my Instagram here, look at this. Uh, I'm with my daughter here. I'm giving. I'm on the news here. Another motivation video. I did a partnership with Kali Jenner here. Um, she's a young billionaire, by the way. I'm proud of her. And by the way, you know these girls, this girl right here and this girl right here, they're some of the best people to work with, actually. They're amazing young ladies, you know. Uh, they are amazing women. I'm telling you, I know why they're rich. I understand why they're wealthy as well. You know, and just to let you guys know, I'll be doing another sponsorship with um, Courtney. Courtney, that's my boo. I like her, actually. Courtney, out of all the Kardashians, I love her the most. That is my girl. I'm telling you. When I decide to get married, when I decide to be in an actual committed monogamous relationship, she will be the first one on the list. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to business. But as you see here, see, seminar here. Um, but basically, I'm communicating one message to the world in Canada with the kids, skiing with the kids, in Canada with the kids here. You see this? Just, just lifestyle here, people that I've helped people that have bought my programs and got value from it. See here? One of my cars that I've bought, homes that I'm buying, parties around the world, my my daughter playing basketball, winning the game, winning shot. You see here? So I'm communicating one message, and that is just lifestyle, happiness, right? Love, joy, enthusiasm here. All right? You see this? Let me know if I'm moving too fast, folks. Okay, got a Terrence, Nick, Ryan. All right. So, um, give value. Make sure that you're giving value. The next one is, you must have a Facebook fan page as well that's congruent, or that's aligned with the Instagram page as well. Okay, because what Facebook does when they get ready to verify you, they look at the Facebook page. Okay. That's, that's what they did for me, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not saying this is the only way, but this is the way that I did it. And it's the way that I know many other people have done it as well. 
You need to have a Facebook fan page as well that's congruent, that's aligned. I understand Facebook owns Instagram, so it's just one company, different names. They bought it years ago. So the thing is they're looking at your Instagram account and they're looking at your Facebook account because they just want to know, are you a person that is, you know, is important enough, you know? I hate to say that, but that's just how they look at it. You know, is this guy important enough to, for us to verify them? Because they understand the power of the verification, right? Um, teenagers, young people, they want to be verified. They want to be important. And I think it was smart about Facebook creating that level of significance of this thing called the blue check because, um, you know, now this is like the new celebrity thing. Like, if you got a blue check, then you're a celebrity. Like, I went to the club a couple of weeks ago and um, I don't know, this girl, I, I'd say, hey, give me your Instagram. And, um, you know, she looked at my Instagram account and she freaked out because I was verified and had a bunch of followers. And she was like, oh my God, who are you? And I said, I'm Wesley Virgin. Okay, well, who are you? I'm like, I'm Wesley Virgin. So apparently it, it appears that now social media having a bunch of followers and having the blue check um when you go out you know people think you're a very important person which makes it easy to build a relationship with somebody however you want to do it make sense um it's powerful to be honest with you you know I, if you <laughs> you know in layman's turn if you have that blue check if you got a bunch of followers i mean um yeah people are just going to like you uh they want to know who you you almost like a, a class celebrity like a, I, I mean, it's, an, it's insane it works okay so um and that's it that's it now it is a couple of people that i know personally that verify accounts and they do charge money for it okay they do charge a couple of thousand dollars to do that and i think i'm going to be adding it to my done for you services where i'm going to be educating people and showing them how to build their instagram pages very quickly um, if you're not in the done for you services, basically I do everything for you. My team does it for you. If you look through my timeline, I have many videos of people that are very successfully got their first sale in the first week, in the first 14 days of getting the done for you services where I do everything for you. If you're interested in that, and I know what you're thinking, is that ten thousand dollars West? No, we're doing very, very uh, special discounted deals at five hundred bucks to do that and I think I'm gonna add an Instagram service as well to help you grow your account faster because I know the power and let me tell you why now let me show you how I'm making millions of dollars by doing this let me show you give me one second here um, here we go let me show you this because you have to know how to monetize it right it's not enough just to have a bunch of followers and not make money right I know a lot of you want to be important, but being important and being broke doesn't make any sense. Does it make sense? Okay. So you want to make money at the same time here. So let me show you something here. So if you're looking here, this is a sales page here. Can everybody see this, by the way? All right. You see this right here? So this is a sales page here. And if you scroll down, you'll see that I put my Instagram page where I put it see that right there so I use this to show my credibility about what I've done online okay makes sense so when people say oh wow somebody they so nine hundred and nine thousand people follow this guy right and the guy's a blue check so maybe this is a guy I need to listen to when we put this on here on the sales page and increase my sales 30 percent I'm gonna be honest with you, and increase my uh, revenue thirty percent by doing this. Okay, so um, it's just not enough just to have a bunch of followers. You need to, to monetize it and use it, and to exploit it, and use it as leverage to make more money. Okay, makes sense. Like even today, I think we spent a thousand bucks today, and I made five thousand. I made five thousand dollars today just off of one. Facebook campaign and this image right here is uh, the reason uh, it definitely augmented to the reason why we're doing that type of income right now actually okay all right any questions for me any questions for me
any questions for me. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You know, there's no secret to this sauce. Um, everybody starts from zero. I think I've had this Instagram account for maybe six, seven years, you know. But I'm just very consistent. I give value. Right? And I communicate one message to the world. Like, I'm not putting videos of people fighting or jokes and stupid memes. I'm not doing that crap. Um, I'm serious. This is a business. Yeah, I have fun with this, but this is a business. And that's what you understand. Social media has now become a business. It's no longer a recreational way to bullshit, even though people do it because they're bored. That's obvious. But don't be like those people. They're the regulatory people. These are people that never succeed on a high level. They'll never make a bunch of money. And they'll constantly, consistently be lost only because they just post. They only use social media just to alleviate boredom, which is stupid, right? It's dangerous as well because it puts you in a very, very elementary type of mindset or, or, or state of mind. And you will never understand why you're not winning, okay? Don't let that be you. Herman Chaplitz, how are you? Ryan. Uh, Ryan <clears throat> Kerbarn, do you need a great amount of capital to build passive income with IG? Oh, absolutely not. No, understand this. So I can do a video. Like last, like two weeks ago, I did a video live on Instagram. I made $10,000 in, um, in 24 hours. On Instagram live, I made $10,000 in 24 hours because i understand that video that i created which was just a marketing video i just gave some value and i sold a product to my followers you know and i made ten thousand dollars and um it was easy to do I understand that video plays all day for 24 hours so i don't need nine hundred thousand people to watch it i just need a couple of thousand people to buy it and watch it and they did so it's really easy to do that. You go live. Learn how to go live. Like, go live, folks. People, when people start to follow you and they start to like you, they want to experience you. Like, right now, you're sitting here listening to my voice, right? Um, you want to be close to the person that's making millions of dollars or close to the person that you admire, right? That, you know, like, look, at, look at Cardi B. People love her. When she go live, she gets over, like, 900,000 people watching her. Because people want to be close to the person that they admire. It makes sense? It builds a connection with them, um, with the celebrity or with the significant person that they have uh, designated. Good question, by the way. Wesley, no question. I just want to thank you for everything. You're amazing. You changed many lives, including mine. I'm forever grateful. Thank you, John Trey. I appreciate that. Les Esperanza. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I really appreciate those good, kind words. You know, it's nothing like I mean, that puts a smile on my face to let you know it really does um, because, you know, I just want to help people. I mean, me and my family, we are living the American dream. I mean, I thank God for it, and I'm so grateful every day. And But I want other people to understand that they can live that dream as well. You had to take some work. Yeah, you're going to change some of your bad habits. Yeah, you got to separate from some people, but it's worth it. Okay, It is so worth it here. Uh, this is why I'm taking time out of my busy schedule to do these type of videos, even though they're free, um, to help you. You know, if you use this information, then, yeah, you will be able to take the flights around the world. Like me and my children, next week, we're out of here. <clears throat> we're going to Japan, going to Malaysia, going to Thailand. Um, first class around the world. You know, we're not staying in America. It's boring here. <laughs> I mean, I love Houston, Texas, but it's so much more outside of this country here if you are living in america here so that this 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 platform here called the internet has given me that opportunity to do a great amazing things for my family you know bless gave my dad seven thousand dollars for father's day gave my mom six thousand and they going to san diego they're traveling in their golden years they're not working at walmart they're not working cleaning building. They're not doing work. No, they're like 60 plus years old. I want them to enjoy their lives. And if you're a child right now, or you're, they have a father or a mother or a grandmother or grandfather, somebody that raised you and you're not in a financial means to be able to take care of them, you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you're 
not in a position, if you're over the age of 25 and you're not put yourself in a position financially that you can take care of your parents or the person that raised you, you should be ashamed at yourself, okay? I think it's your responsibility to take care of your parents or your grandparents or the people that raise you. It's your responsibility to do that because maybe they didn't make the best decision or the best choices financially. So it's up to you to do it. If you're not doing it, then shame on you. You're repeating the problems of the past. And not me. I'm creating the future and I'm creating the successes for the future, for my family, for my children, and for all the people that I love most here. Okay. Tito, Lanita, how are you? Mike, if you just got here, we're talking about Instagram. But now we have the Millionaire Midnight Rant where you can ask me questions. Okay. I need to get an EIN number for business. However, it would take 30 days to get in the mail, but I can't do one. You don't need an EIN number. No, you don't. Come on now. You got a social security number. That's all you need. And actually, you don't even need that. You just need to start creating a business now. I didn't have an EIN number when I... When I made my first million, folks, I did not have a tax ID number. I'm be honest with you. I got the tax ID number when I had to do taxes. I'm gonna be honest with you. And it, it was not, it was no consequence. All right. You don't have to get all these DBAs. And all, you don't have to get all this bullshit. Not now. Make some money first. Okay. Make some money first. Then get all the credit. Get all the accountants and the lawyers and whatever. Don't get all this stuff before. A lot of you, when you're thinking about business, you do it backwards. You know, you're trying to create all these safety loops or trying to create um, <laughs> to make sure you don't fail. Oh, I need a lawyer. I need an accountant. I need a DBA. I need an EIN. Do I need LLC? Do I need S Corp? Stop it. You don't even understand all this stuff, and you can't even afford it in the first place. Go make the money first, then get all the accountants and lawyers and all that stuff. It, it doesn't make any sense to have an EIN number and a DBA and you're not making any money, okay? <laughs> Come on, what's the per what's the point? You know, you have an account. Oh, I got an accountant. You haven't made any money. I mean, what is that accountant doing for you? It's counting nothing. <laughs> what's the point of having an accountant and it's not counting no money? Okay, make the money first, then get all the other resources later. Okay. When are you coming back to Canada? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. Actually, I want to go to Montreal. I heard much raw. Mm, beautiful, beautiful people. I, I maybe I'll be there soon. I don't know. Sophia, Lily, how are you, Marcos, Terrence? Wow. Okay, thank you. All right, any more questions for me? Okay. Um, this is the bonus section where, if you have any questions about Instagram and getting verified, um, listen to this video again, or just ask me now. If you have any more questions about anything, okay. This is what I call the Millionaire Midnight Rant, where. I will be brutally honest, which means I may hurt your feelings. So what? Um, I believe you got to be tough skinned to be an entrepreneur, to be a successful one. Actually, to be an entrepreneur, you don't need tough skin. But to be a successful entrepreneur, you do have to have tough skin. That means that anything I say, anything that you hear me say that come out my mouth as it relates to business, your life, or what you say in the comments below, it's meant and it um, should be taken uh, – um, Taking just, you know, I'm, I'm giving it to you out of love, okay? I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not trying to belittle you at all. But I got to be honest with you as the person I've become of a person of value, a person of admiration, a person who I've um, made several, several, seven-figure, created different type of businesses. And I'm doing um, very, very well here. So go ahead. If you got tough skin, go ahead and give me your question, and let me try to help you, Okay. <laughs> Do you think IG is better platform to grow authentic followers than Facebook? <laughs> Absolutely. AG, IG is the number one platform that the eyes, that people that are buying products, they're on IG. Okay? That's what it is. People check IG more than Facebook. Facebook is more of a older generation. Like my mom and dad, they just now are on Facebook. So that's more of the baby boomers. Um, but um, everybody else is on Instagram. And I heard Twitter as well. But Instagram is just a platform that everybody just goes to because all the celebrities are there. So that's what people are. So it's it's better to grow the IG. Facebook following, I don't know. I, I don't even grow mine, even though I have 100,000 on one account. But I don't know. I, I don't even care about it, to be honest with you, because everybody's all about the Instagram. 
Because when you go out, people say, hey, what's your Instagram? You got an IG? You got an IG? And majority of people, especially my children's generation, centennials, millennials, and perennials, they don't even use Facebook. They don't even use it. People actually stop using Snapchat. <laughs> Not that many people use Snapchat anymore as well. Just a new generation that's coming up. And understand, you got to be smart. Um, business change all the time based off the generation that you're serving. So the people that you're serving in the next decade will be different, right? Like my daughter is, 20, is 15. She'll be 25 in 10 years. So I'll be serving her, right? I'll be, what, 29? <laughs> gotcha. Um, so you have to be wary of that. So the thing is, I'm building my platform according to the needs of people and where the eyes are in advance. So that means in the eyes of teenagers, people in their 20s, I am looked at as a person that's a celebrity. So when I sell a product, they're more likely to buy from me without a lot of testimonials. I get instant credibility. Make sense? Because I know the generation of people that I'm serving. Okay. Spice, Mike, how are you? Questions, folks. Come on now. You have a millionaire. I'm talking to you. Listen to me here. You have a millionaire. You can ask whatever question you want. Everybody wants to have an opportunity to have a question or Q&A with a real-life millionaire. You got that opportunity right now. Don't blow it. Use it. Okay? Use it. What are, you, what are your questions here? And once again, thank you for liking, sharing, and tagging someone in this video here. Okay? But what are your questions? Talk to me. Come on. Talk. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Hello, people. I can hear you breathing. Hello. Let's go. Hey, Spice, how are you? Question. Come on. Wilson Law, how are you? <clears throat> you know, believe it or not, my Instagram following used to be 4,000 followers. <laughs> I remember those days. 4,000, man. Man, no one knew me, right? But I was still making a bunch of money. <laughs> when do you think you'll be able to do another seminar um i think my next seminar will probably be in florida if you're in florida i'm on my way to you in about 60 to 90 days um i'm getting a property a condo in the porsche tower building in sunny isles florida uh, which is beautiful on the 40 or the 50th floor it's gorgeous it's to live for and i think my next seminar will be there Okay. I've been a slave to the services that are offered in my business and have been strapped on time to devote my creating my products. Well, stop being a slave, Mike, and start creating your products, brother. You're not getting any younger. By the way, a lot of you, if you don't mind, can everybody comment their ages below if you don't mind? Okay. Comment your ages below, please. I want to talk to you. I want everybody to comment their age below. Everybody, if you're listening to my voice right now, don't be shy. Comment your ages below, okay? Because I want to give you some philosophy because it's going to allow you to take action because a lot of you are just twiddling your thumbs. You're getting older and you're you're not realizing that life is really life is really passing you by. And, you know, a lot of you want to create life how it should be, but you got to start seeing life as it is. And I'm going to see if I can help you with that. Ages, please. 28, 34. 22, 24. 28, 19, 39. All right. So let me talk to the, let me talk to the teenagers first, just for the teenagers. I'm going to be real short. Teenagers, if you're 19 and below, listen, I want you to imagine and think about your parents right now. Are they rich? Do they have a lot of money? What do they do? Do they have a job? Are they happy people? Like, you know what a happy person is because if you follow me, I'm a happy guy, like all day long, right? Period. Um, and if they're not like this, if they're upset every time, they're talking about how much money they don't have and talking about they wish the boss was different. Let me share something with you, young people. If you don't change the way that you are now, you're going to wind up like your parents, which means is, Young people, don't fuck around. Okay? Teenagers. 
listen to me. Don't fuck around. If I was talking to myself right now as a teenager, I would tell myself this. And I tell my children this as well. I say, hey, don't screw around. Figure out what you want to do. Try as many things as humanly possible. But stop all this play play stuff. You know, all this play play shit. Excuse my language. This is my rant. So that means that um, I'm going to use colorful language. If you don't like it, please leave. Listen, young people. Do the opposite of what all your little friends are doing. Playing video games. You know, talking on the phone all night. All this craziness. Watching on this TV. Don't do it. If you keep doing it, you're going to brainwash yourself for failure. Okay? You're going to brainwash. I said that you're going to be poor, but you're going to be in this position in life that you don't want to be. It doesn't even matter if you get a job, you're making forty, fifty thousand dollars a year, you're still gonna be like, man, I hate my job, I hate school, I don't want to do this, I want to do what I really want to do. Listen, you can do it now. Start perfecting your craft and your skill now. If you don't know what it is, figure it out. I tell all young people, especially teenagers, get into the internet business. It's free to do it. It's free to create a social media account. It's free to create a digital product. And it's free to market your stuff because there's so many ways to market for free. And it's free to do YouTube. It's free. Start doing that stuff early. Okay? I didn't start to my later 20s. If I was starting when I was a teenager, I would be a billionaire, cash billionaire right now. Okay? Start now. Do something now. I told my son, I said, son, I know you're trying to figure it out, but do something. He started selling chips at school. He started to work with me and like I gave him a book to read. I said, if you read the book, every chapter, you'll make a dollar. I'm teaching him how to make money, about to do something and earn a dollar from it. So young people, maybe your parents are not like Wesley Virgin. They're not going to teach you the ropes because they don't understand the ropes. They've had a job for the rest of their life. If your parents are business people, follow them, listen to them. You need their mindsets. Okay, pay attention. If you have a parent that's a business person, be freaking thankful, okay? Because unfortunately, a lot of young people, they don't have that opportunity that their parents were business people. So they don't have the mindset. They don't have the fortitude. They don't have the resilience. They don't have the perseverance. They don't have the patience to do anything, okay? That's why they quit. All right, in your 20s, if you're in your 20s, listen close, okay? If you're in your 20s, 20s, <clears throat> it's time for you to get focused. Okay, it's not with all this bullshit about, oh, I'm in my 20s. I still have time. You don't have time. You don't have time. I could tell you a story about a young man that I met. He was 21 years old. I think I was 27. And at that time, I wasn't a millionaire, but I knew I was going to be rich. And I remember he worked at a Jamaican restaurant with his parents. And I said, young man, what do you want to do? He said, I want to do this. I want to do this. And I said, well, what are you doing to work towards that? He said, I'm doing this, man. I got it, Wesley. I got it. No, no, you're going to see. I'm going to show you. I said, young man, you're playing around. You're chasing girls. You're bragging about what type of girls you're having sex with. Because that's what he would tell me. He'd say, oh, Wesley, look at this girl. I got this girl. She's my girl, blah, 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 whatever. Who gives a fuck, right? Uh, show me your bank account. Show me how much money you got in there. And he didn't get it. But this young man in his 20s, he said, hey, I'm going to show you. That's why I hear all the time. I'm going to show you, Wes. I'm going to show you, Wes. Man, I've had over 20-plus people that have told me this, that I went back to them in six, seven years. You know that same guy that I talked to at the Jamaican restaurant that his parents owned, that he was the cashier? He is still a cashier. Still doing the same thing. Still not progressing. And now... I drove up in my Lamborghini one day, and he was like, oh, my God, Wesley, you made it. He was talking about this. I remember he was telling us all the times when you were eating those meat pies that you were going to be rich. That I needed to read this book, but now, Wesley, I'm serious now. And it's sad that he's only serious because he saw the Lamborghini. He saw the fruits of the labor that I did 10 years ago. But now he's 28, still working at his parents' restaurant. Not making nothing, probably still staying at his parents' house and still trying to figure it out. But see if he would have listened. If you're in your 20s right now, if you have the opportunity to ever talk with a person that's living the dream that you want to 
live, shut your mouth and listen. And do it. Okay? Shut your mouth and listen. All right? It's all out of love. It's not because I'm trying to be like I'm the boss. Or I'm, I'm the I'm your authority figure. No, I'm just being honest with you because I know what happens in the process when you're in your 20s. I've been there. I, I understand the process. I know what we think about. You know, usually men, they want to chase girls. Well, shit, men want to chase girls for the, their entire lives, actually. But in their 20s, that's just what's on their mind. Girls, drugs, drinking, right? And trying to be somebody that they're not financially ready to become. Trying to get nice cars, you know, for girls to look at. Trying to get nice clothes for girls. You know, whatever. And you're spending all this money and you don't have the money, okay? What I'm saying is this. <clears throat> All your friends, think about all your friends right now, if you're in your 20s. I want you to think about every friend that you have right now. If they're not making at least double, if not triple the amount of money that you're making, you need to exit yourself from that circle. Okay? If you have friends and all they want to do is just play, play, go out on the weekend all the time, go to the next house party club, day party, whatever, travel, go to Vegas for the weekend. Um, you want to get away from these type of people, okay? And get around the people that are doing what you want to do, that are earning the money that you want to earn, okay? Because in your 20s, it could be very experimental, but I tell people in their 20s, young people, guys and gals, if you can't get around a CEO, that's in a small company. If you can get around a CEO that has a small company and you get close to the CEO, you will learn more in a year than you can learn in 10 years for reading books and watching YouTube videos and shit like this. Okay? But, you know, even if you have to be an intern, work for free, whatever. Do it in your 20s because you're young. If you can get close to a guy that's an owner or a girl that's an owner of a company that's successful, Get as close as possible as humanly possible. Work for them for free. Who cares? Napoleon Hill did it. He's one of the richest people on the planet. Okay? 30s. If you're in your 30s, listen. You got to fucking wake up. Okay? If you're in your 30s, you don't have $100,000 in your bank account. If you're not making $10,000 per month. You need to get serious, okay? I mean, you need to stop fucking around. I'm going to be honest, but excuse my language, but you're too old to be that way. I mean, if you're not making $10,000 a month right now, um, <laughs> let me share something with you. Um, you need to wake up. Okay, and I'm talking to men now. It's it's nothing worse than a man that's thirty plus years old that has no money in the bank account. They're still trying to figure out what they want to do out of life. That is, to me, that's sad. It's pitiful. You can't in your in your thirties. You have to know exactly what you want to do. Am I making sense? You have to know exactly. What you want to do, because it might take you five to ten years to perfect it. Okay. You can't you can't wait until you're 40 and 50 years old and say, oh, OK, I want to wake up now. I mean, that's a long time. It's no reason. It doesn't make any sense to try to live this amazing life. And you're 60 years old and finally want to get serious. Get serious now. I mean, if you're 30 years old, come on. All your homeboys and. You know, all that stuff, let them go. Yeah, you know, like, take a break. I'm just telling you, honestly, what needs to happen here. Take a break from all that foolishness. A lot of you know that you're bullshitting. You know you are. You know, I don't need to say it. You know right now, you're listening to me. You know that you're not giving your all. You're trying to run your business, and you're trying to run girls, and you're trying to live this lifestyle that you know you're not living. You know you don't have this type of money in your bank account. You're trying to live this fraud fake type of lifestyle here let me tell you something that's not attractive and that is not admirable okay 
because the funk is going to hit the fan. Eventually, you will be exposed. Okay? So, spend five to ten years focusing and perfecting your craft. Yeah, maybe you can't take some vacations this year. Maybe you can't hang out with the boys. Some years. So what? Maybe you need to be celibate for a while. Maybe you need to refrain from sexual activity. Just do it. It's okay. You're not going to die. Okay? You know, stop drinking so much. I mean, drink all the time. Beer, wine, tequila. Just You always need a drink. And you wonder why that you don't have the mental capacity to be able to do something great. You need all the faculties of your body, especially your mind. Smoke, weed, beer, alcohol. You think that's actually um, energizing? You think it's making you a better person? It's thinking, making you healthier? No, it's debilitating you, especially if you're using it um, more frequently than most people. Okay, If you're overusing it, then you're innovating yourself. Okay, You're weakening yourself. All right? So, in your 30s, get serious. 40s, I don't even want to talk to you. Man, if you're 40 right now and you're still trying to figure it out, oh, my God. You need to get it together. That's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to be 40 years old and work in a job but don't want to work the job, want to create their dreams, want to... Uh, be an entrepreneur and you're still talking about you're, you're scared and you're still talking about you fear failure that's bullshit okay you're 40 years old 50 years and you fear failure if you're 40 plus right now I'm, I'm pretty confident that you've had a lot of failures I'm pretty confident that you've had a lot of setbacks okay so don't give me this bullshit that you fear failure. Oh, I'm scared. It's not going to work. I'm scared if I leave my job. Oh, my God. I don't want to say this word. I'm not. But I really want to say it's the P word. Don't act like a P word. Don't act like a P. Okay, I'm not going to say it. I just want to be respectful. But come on. Bro. You're a grown-ass man. You're 40-plus years old. Get it together. Okay? Think about your family. Think about your little boy. Think about your little girl. They're looking at you. Okay? You want to be the greatest example you want to be the man, right? How are you going to be the man and you can't even leave your job to go create better opportunities for your family? How can you expect your kid to do well when you're trapped or chained at a job that you keep complaining about? One day your kid going to say, well, daddy, you keep complaining about your job. Why don't you just quit it, get a new job, or just start a business? Because <laughs> children are smart. You know, because most men and women, they complain about their day, complain about their job, complain about their employees, complain about everything, right? 40 plus years old, always complaining about something. I'm, I'm pretty sure that kid is like, well, mom, why do you keep complaining? Why don't you just do something different? Wow. Right? Okay, so that's enough of that. Next. Who can help? Uh, he can help you, but you got to do the work, repetition, the mother of skill. Absolutely. Any more questions for me? Peter, how are you? Any more questions for me? Hold on, I got a message here. Hold on. This guy's messaging our customers one by one, telling them not to join them. And it's scan. Uh, let me, oh, let me see. Uh, okay. Uh, report him. All right, any more? Um, any more questions for me, folks? Any more questions? Talk to me. Mm, questions. Yeah, this is the truth, you know. And, you know, a lot of millionaires are rich people. They're probably not going to have this type of straight talk with you because they want to make money from you, right? So the thing is, a lot of millionaires that sell products, well, they want to keep you in a good mood, right? <laughs> they use pain to motivate you. Then they use pleasure to get your money. But me, um, I just don't want your money. I want you to win. For you to win, I got to be honest. I got to be transparent. Like, I'm not trying to get customers right now. I'm trying to help you. Okay? I want you to understand that you need to do some self-introspection. Stop bullshitting yourself. 
Stop telling yourself, oh, well, I'll do better. Oh, you know what? It's going to work out. Oh, one day, one day. Shut up. That shit is just, that is just, you're giving yourself false hope. You know when people say, well, one day, man, you're going to see one day. Stop with this one day. One day is today, tonight. Get up. Get out your goddamn bed. Stop sleeping so much. Get to work. Get behind the computer. Create a program. Write a book. Make a video. Give some value. Go work out. Go to the gym. Do something. Start talking about one day. Well, you got to give it time. You got just it's okay. Give me patient. No, it doesn't work that way. You're not gonna be rich if you think like that. If you can't show me, show me one person that was like that. That was always talking about one day it's gonna happen. Show me that person, please. Okay. What I'm telling you is, the best day to get started on anything is today, at the current moment, like right now. Not tomorrow, not when you get more money, not when you get a better job, a better situation, not when you get a better spouse, a better house. No, now. Even if you're at your lowest right now, do it now. Do something. Why? Because most people are doing nothing. You know, majority of people on the planet, they just talking about what they want to do. Everybody does. There's 97% of people, they talk about ideals and what they want to do. Oh, I want to do this. And one day I do this, and one day, you know, I should do this, and one day I'm going to do this. One day, one day, one day, bullshit. Okay? Don't be like them. Don't be like these people, all right? Be the person to say, today is today. Okay? <clears throat> you want to start a business? Start it right now. Create a website. Go to Wix. Right? Go to YouTube. Figure out how to do it. All right? Does that make sense? I'm searching for your uh, background music. Can you give me the little title of the song? Which background music, my man? I don't understand which background music you're talking about. Hold on, guys. Give me one second. questions yeah there you go John Trey Michelle Fong how are you good morning any more questions for me you know I know some of you are like kind of shocked right you say oh man he's right you know I know I'm right you know a lot of things what I said about you not taking action you allowing that um, thing called fear to stop you don't let the fear to stop no don't let, let me, let me share something with you. Don't let anybody tell you what you can't do. And don't let any illusion, because that's what fear is, nothing but an illusion. It's not even real. Don't let something that doesn't even exist stop you from living your dream. Are you kidding me right now? Don't let anybody stop you. Don't let a job, don't let money, don't let nothing stop you from doing what you were born to do. Your God-given talent, whatever that may be. Okay? Be relentless. Be fearless. It's not about always making the right decision. It's just about making a decision. Just make a decision. Say, fuck it. I got to do it. You know, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it today, tonight. I'm going to start it. Just say, fuck it. I got to do it. Sometimes you got to say, fuck it. I'm going. Fuck it. Let me pay this money. 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks. Let me get into this program. I don't know how I'm going to get the money, but fuck it. Let me just get in it and learn what I don't know. Because if not, you're going to get older and older and older and older and older and older and older, okay? And life is going to pass you by. The life that you want to live is going to pass you by. <laughs> Don't be like the people that are in the homes, right? You know, the hospice homes are in the homes where elderly people are, okay? And they're, they're regretting all the things that they didn't do. Don't be like that. That's a sad way to die. I think the most saddest way to die is to regret the things that you didn't do but that you wanted to do. It's to regret all the experiences you wanted to have but you didn't do it because 
Well, because you were just weak. Don't regret. Don't be a person of regret. It happens. If you ever visit an old folks' home, you know, I do every once in a while, you know, I hear this. They say, you know, I regret not doing so many things, Wesley. Man, I wish I would have just did it. Damn it, I wish I would have just did it. You know, even my dad sometimes say, man, Wes, I wish I did some of the things you did. I just wish I just would have I wish I just would have went for it, you know, just just went for it. And I'm going to say, you don't have to keep saying that, folks. Do it now. Just do it. Who cares? Just do it. It's a great journey. Do it. Question. Any questions for me, folks? If you want me to stop, um, I'll stop if you want me to. I, I'm doing this for you. Samir and Midnight Rant. Um, you can ask me whatever question you want. Uh, I am a Real life millionaire. Um, I say that very humbly. Uh, I say that from the top of my heart because I want to help. But if you feel that you have all the resources, the tools, and the advice that you need to take action right now, do that. Um, if anybody wanted to be a part of my Down For You services, where I basically use the platform called the Internet and I create everything for you to get you your first sale, we're not going to charge you 10000 or $20,000. We'll do it right now for a one-time fee of $4.99, and we'll do everything for you. Within weeks, you'll have your first sell, and you'll be on your way to making your first five to $10,000 per month, okay? Uh, we do have some openings. We're not taking as many people because we had an overwhelming of people that came in um, actually last month, so we're only taking serious people. If, you, if you're looking for that, just come with the word done for you, and we'll have somebody to reach out to you to help you, okay? Any more questions for me? Uh, we also just finished our first Facebook Mastermind class, uh, and it was a success. It was a huge success. Uh, the people that was in that class, they will be making five to $10,000 per month, and I will be posting those videos very soon. Um, so you'll realize that this is real. You know, it's nothing fake about this. It's, it's all real. Um, and we're just helping people to succeed. Any more questions for me? Any more questions, folks? Any more questions? Steve, Danny. Any more questions? Thank you, John Trey. Spice, can I send you the picture, Wes, in your message for the background music title? Um, it's Theta. Just search Theta. Search Theta in YouTube, and it will pop up for you. Any more questions? Okay. All right, guys, get to work. Um, I love you. Appreciate you. Thank you for all the likes and shares in this video. Thank you for coming here, learning about Instagram, and... Um, you know, sitting through this millionaire midnight rant. And let me share something with you. Um, everything is really working towards your success. Even these short videos that I do at night, um, it's helping. It's, it is. It's helping. And what it's doing is changing the way that you think about your world, your reality here. Changing the way that you think about business. Um, changing your perception on this thing called life here. So, uh, don't think that these videos or this information is falling on deaf ears. It's, it's helping you. Even though you don't get it, some people are like, well, I'm still not making money. I'm still not making money. But you will. Okay? You will make money eventually. Because you understand that if you want to make money, you have to believe that you're making money now. If you want your business to be successful, you have to see and feel as if your business is a success now. And sometimes you have to hear this type of information over and over again. Like, I will suggest and encourage all of you to listen and watch this video again several times until you get it, okay? Because sometimes it takes some time to get rid of that negative mindset, those negative thoughts, those thoughts of, oh, I can't do this. And sometimes you need to hear a video like this to raise your own standards, you know? Some of you... Maybe you're making ten, twenty thousand dollars per month, but why you're not making a hundred thousand? Why you're not making five hundred thousand? 
right per month. Sometimes you need to raise your prices, raise your standards about yourself. You know, we did it just recently in one of my companies. We raised our price from uh, 200 bucks to a thousand bucks. The more people are buying it at the thousand dollar level. Sometimes you're undervaluing yourself. You know, you're not understanding that you're a valuable resource to whatever industry that you're in. Okay. So uh, these videos are definitely profitable for anybody, even the person that's never made a sale and the person that's already doing five figures per month. Okay. All right. Good job. Good job. Love you guys. I appreciate you. Um, Taylor made speaks. Uh, reach out to Ariella. Let me write her name here. Ariella. She's probably in this group right now. Reach out to her. She'll get you hooked up, brother. And we'll put you a part of the done for you service team where we'll do everything for you just to give you a head start. So you'll see how the internet platform works. Um, it's working for me. I mean, I just, I'm getting ready to buy me another car. Just bought me another. I'm getting ready to buy this. Well, I'm going to rent rent out this condo. It's fifteen thousand a month. I'm gonna rent it for the next year in Florida. Getting ready to buy me a. Um, well, I'm actually wrapping my a G wagon, and my Lamborghini. You'll see it soon. So, I mean, the internet platform is doing it for me. Um, it gives me more time with my children. Um, I have a great time with them, and money just comes in on autopilot. I'm grateful and I want to share with anybody that wants me to do it for them. So if that's something that you want, just come with the work done for you and I will get it done for you. Hey guys, much love and let's go. Later.